Hi, my name is Glenn Lucas, and I'd like to thank you for joining me here in my workshop today. I have the fire lighting, it's nice and cozy in here, and I'm ready to start one of my favorite projects. Now this here is what we're going to do today. It's made from Irish cherry from County Kilkenny, and it's inspired by a piece that I have here, which was given to me by a very good friend of mine. Now this was made several hundred years ago from Irish sycamore and it's only about three millimeters in wall thickness. So here I have two end sections of logs that I had out in my timber yard just to explain to you exactly the pros and cons of getting the plate from different parts from the tree. So here we have a plate that's come from this position here in the tree and if you look at the growth rings, the ones here in the centre run almost parallel to the, the face of the plank, which will be the top of the platter. And the growth rings at the side are almost at 90 degrees to the face. So what happens with this, as it dries, these rings start to shorten. And that will pull down the two sides of this plate. And this is a real problem when you're trying to eat your dinner off a plate that's rocking all over the place. But there's a really pretty grain pattern, as you can see there from, from uh, where I got that in the tree. Now over... So at the moment, all I want to do is just make this piece round so I can make some pencil lines on it. And if you notice, I made the cuts from the left hand side to the right hand side. And at the very bottom here, I got a lot of tear out. So all these fibers just broke away. That's not going to be a problem because this is the bottom of the plate and we still have a lot of material to remove down here. So at this stage, I'm going to mark it up with the pencil 